We want to create formulas in a row when there's an edit, and in this case, we're going to create a formula here that's equal to, if this equals regular, we're just going to put the regular price. But if it's false, if it's on sale, for instance, we're going to take the regular price n times 0.8 to get 80%. And we're going to fill in that formula, but as we come here, we have these zeros. Now, we could hide this formula with uh, if is blank and just put a5 here. This is something I typically do when I just want to show nothing, not even a zero, until there's some item here. The problem when adding something here and having all of these formulas is that this page now, if you go to the last row, it's gonna be the very last row with formulas. And I have to make sure that there's always a formula here, even if I end up deleting something. There's some quality control issues with having this formula right here. So basically I wanna add the formula only when I actually add some item here. So let's do that with app script. We're gonna go extensions app script. Our function is gonna be called on edit with a capital E. We're gonna use an event here in this space and basically we're gonna go variable row equals event dot range dot get row. Now that makes sure we know what row we're on. And we're gonna get the sheet, variable ss equals spreadsheet app dot get active sheet. We're gonna do ss dot get range. We're gonna to go to the row that we're on, comma, the column is going to be where we're gonna write is four, which is D column. I'm going to set value and it's going to be, so we can just copy this formula here. Now, if you see an issue, we need to change this row number. This is A5, C5, C5 every single time. So what we could do here is a couple of ways. We can put in a the variable row, just using this plus sign here. There's one other way we can do this and that's using interpolation. We use dollar sign and curly brackets, and we just say row. We are going to need to use backticks instead of quotes if we use double quotes, this won't work. But if we use backticks, this will work. So we're surrounding everything with backticks. And we know it works because this dollar sign curly brackets row is black. So we're gonna substitute everywhere that there's a number of the row with this interpolation of row. And now every time we edit this sheet, it's going to add that to the row that we're editing. We're gonna to need to know the column variable, column equals event.range.get column, and we're gonna use column double equal is equal to one. Then we're going to do this addition. We also wanna make sure that we're only adding this if there's, if we're not deleting something. So we need event.value is equal to, is not equal to nothing, which is just two quotes. If we enter this, the price, new monitor, you can see it automatically enters that formula every time we're editing just this first column. If you're looking to get more out of your Google Sheets than you ever have before, consider subscribing here on YouTube to Better Sheets.